Okay, what you're looking at here are some spikes. Um, these are log cabin spikes, construction spikes, 4 by 4 spikes, whatever you want to call them. Here's one of them. Okay. This ha happens to be about 8 inches long. The minor diameter is a little over a quarter of an inch. So I bought an extended uh, drill and I drilled a pilot hole for each one of these and uh, I'm going to start driving them. I'm going to drive one in to show you uh, how easy they go in, which is not too bad. Uh, that's a 16 ounce plumb hammer. It's an old timer, but it will drive this bike in. I have drilled the hole short a couple of inches. So when it gets down to that last couple of inches, it's driving into virgin territory. I'm going to drive two spikes and uh, let you see what's going on. It's the first time I've had a head break on these things. Okay. Everybody that I uh, drove the spikes in, and you can see them there, and I'm going to zoom in a little harder so you can see them. Yeah, there's one there. Yep, and go down, there's one there, that's the one I broke the head off from, uh, there, there, uh, that's it, I guess, uh-huh, so that's uh, what I did, is I drove the spikes in the bottom, but I also put in uh, lag screws, half inch galvanized, cold dip galvanized lag screws, cold dip um, washers and lock washers and then I drove the spikes in so this thing is solid this is solid as a rock um, I'm going to zoom back out now all right I have redone the track uh, I'm going to try to zoom in here a little bit try not to get dizzy try not to get dizzy Okay, right here we are. I have turned around the carriage. I'm in the process of redoing it now. All nice, but they squeal. Don't know if that's going to get any better. Just trying to keep you up to date. Uh, I've done a lot of stuff. I have changed how I'm picking up uh, the carriage. You can see it here with eye bolts and the cable rather than um, a l rope. I have split a 2x2 two two with a heavy wall, 3 16th inch wall. Um, I've got three bolts on it right now. This one is prior to drilling. I'm going to drill on an angle in here. Put a and I'm going to put a T-handle on a half inch bolt on this material. I'll weld the half inch nut so that when I tighten that up, it'll square the saw. Starting to work on uh, putting the handlebars on and the handlebars, excuse me for the noise again, the handlebars will control the clutch. Uh, the start of the uh, saw blade plus the throttle. So um, just piddling around. Uh, piddling around. Uh, finishing up things and getting ready to go. Should be ready to go in a couple of weeks. Talk to me.
ask me questions if you need to. Um, I'm available. I'm retired, so what the heck. I'm going to back up a little bit. Don't get dizzy. Okay. So there we are. Um, yeah, there's the uh, winch. Same winch. Just took the rope out and put a cable in. I, uh, like I said, I've been busy. I'm working on it every day. Just trying to get her going. I think within two weeks I'll be going with the first uh, portion of the track. And then I'll worry about the extension to go to uh, 16, 18 foot. Uh, let's see. You see a 4x4 cant on the uh, deck, carriage deck. My father brought that over last night. He has a large circle saw. He's 90 years old and he still cuts a lot of lumber. Okay, what you're going to see here next, I'm uh, going to have to adjust the camera and get down in where we can see. I'm going to zoom in some a little bit. Okay, and you can see I put the roller in for that side. Uh, it's pretty close to exactly where I want it to be. Alright, and I have added the roller for this side. There is the handle that uh, adjusts it in and out. And uh, I'll show you. so I can cut a narrow or a very large log. Okay, I put a T-handle on it. I have put a T-handle on it. Uh, that one is a 3 8 bolt with a little bit of re-rod. And uh, you can see my splits now. They have the uh, half-inch T-handle. They lock up nice to square against the uh, carriage uprights. And I put a second nut on there with a handle. One of the things I uh, hate the most is when something will vibrate loose. It's just a pain in the butt. Okay, you're also going to see, I'm going to zoom back out now. You're going to see portions of the handlebar. Okay. And I've got it welded to the uh, frame so it raises and lowers with. It is just a handlebar off of an old lawnmower. I did add a spring right here. And that spring uh, pulls back up on the handle, and that will be the throttle. And the throttle will uh, control the centrifugal clutch. Already mentioned in a video. What you see is, uh, yes, yeah, it's not a very good photo there. Okay, I do have a belt tightener set up. Okay, over center, tight. Over center, tight. I'll probably leave that on, but uh, install the centrifugal clutch too. I think it'll just make such a, a much cleaner, easier to use sawmill. One handle. Speed the motor up, the blade takes off. Okay, bye for now. Ask questions. See you later. Bye.